What is going on guys? We are on AFK Journey to take a look at the Snow Stomper boss. I want to show you the team I used. I want to talk about other units that you can use. This boss has given me the biggest headache out of all the bosses in the game. This one is the hardest for me personally right now. It just, it's very frustrating, especially in endless mode. So I want to show you guys exactly what's going on with that. Smack the sub button. I appreciate you being here. Hopping in and taking a look at the boss setup here. I am running Thorin, Marley, Rowan, Odie, and Coco. This is the team that got me the highest damage and this was due to a very specific reason this boss is extremely frustrating it puts out a snowstorm it's going to knock down all of your kind of unit skill activation it's going to lock them and it's going to freeze the unit that's usually doing the most dps and that can lead to a lot of problems in this case for me it was marley i'm going to put a replay of my run farther into the video so you can see that i'll put a timestamp down below if you want to jump and just see how that happened but marley does the most damage the boss freezes Marley. Marley couldn't be broken out by my other units. They weren't doing enough damage. And even though I get really close to breaking Marley out of the snow prison, she would still die. And it just started getting more and more frustrating. I was putting in more damage units because Smokey was getting locked down. I couldn't heal rights. I had Smokey out on the board. I didn't have Coco. I was using more just DPS like Cecia. I had Smokey, Odie. I didn't have Marley. Sometimes I would run it even with Coco like this. And I just was running into so many issues. I would have them positioned out where Odie was behind Thorin. I had Smokey up in the corner with Coco. And CC on the back because you want in this boss fight specifically guys having your units clumped up together is actually super nice because when they get into the snow prison one of them will be locked down if you do not have everybody next to them they won't be able to break it out right away the units physically have to run over start beating the crud out of the snowman pop your unit out it'll be free you can then continue to do dps on the boss if you're using all range dps they can just turn and shoot so it's a whole different situation when it comes to range dps but for me my range dps weren't leveled up that much it just it's led to a lot of issues having the smoky and the coco led to some healing but it was okay smoky would get interrupted the attack buff was there it was all right but having thorin as that main tank really did help but what I started noticing for survivability sake was Coco. Coco's damage reduction helped tank the snowstorm phase. That was the key for in this team setup. Uh, Odie would get frozen and die or Cecia would get frozen and die. They couldn't break it out of it. If I could get Coco's ulti to go before the snowstorm triggered, then it led to much easier and consistent damage it wasn't always the highest damage it wasn't five dps running out there or four dps in a tank just hitting the boss but it was a way to kind of tank the damage and survive the problem was marley when i put her in because marley does true damage if she doesn't need her ulti it'll start stacking up and she does true damage eventually to the boss so i thought i'll have marley as my main carry and have odie in the background Cecia was just getting stunned and beaten down too much and it never seemed like she was really outputting that much damage so we took Cecia off I had Odie stay in I had Marley on the back of Thorin because I do have Thorin leveled up you'll see this chain here that chain is going to allow healing to be passed from the damage that Marley is doing back into Thorin so it kind of lets that duo stay up Thorin takes damage from Marley it's a really really nice thing doesn't need to be like that but Thorin in the front line he is just a wonderful tank if you have him, you don't need Thorin. You can take Thorin out and use other units. You can even use Smokey as a frontline tank in this. It can work that way. It's worked for me that way. I have even tried to use Kruger in this run. If you have him at Mythic Plus, he gets that shield, which is huge. So if you have a brand new Kruger, he doesn't have that shield and you go in and try to hit the boss and you're like, well, he just blew up. That's probably why. He is going to take a lot of damage without that shield. So I don't recommend exactly using him if he's not at Mythic Plus. So for me, getting Marley to survive was the key because my Marley is at Mythic Plus. She does have access to that true damage. She usually pulled the Snow Stompers aggro. I just needed the Marley to survive the fight. So that led to the Coco staying in. I tried Kruger. Kruger was great. Reduced the defense. He just wasn't surviving half the time. And it's frustrating because I had the shield. I was excited and I would just watch him disappear. He would vanish really fast into the fight. So we kept Thorin. Kept my units clumped together. I kept Odie because Odie has that poison damage. So even though his ult is getting locked down sometimes, you can still kind of fire off that poison damage and get that DOT going. If you do make it to the end, when I made it to the end of the hell difficulty snow stomper, 
the Odie poison did execute the boss. So it got down to that last little bit of percentage of HP. Odie executed the boss, it cleared it. So I like Odie a lot. He is also very highly invested into with the Kruger, as I said earlier, and Kruger died. Coco never got her ulti off. I was like, well, shoot, what can I do? So I took Kruger out. I tried CCS, put CCA in instead of Kruger, see if I could do more DPS, see if I could get in, kind of hit the boss down and it worked okay. And then I thought, well, when the snowman's up and the boss is up, I could maybe try like Viperion. Viperion is an amazing damage dealer if you have him. The problem was they still couldn't break Marley out of this prison. So what I did is I thought, who can give me more haste? Damien can give me more haste if you have Damien and you have him at Mythic Plus. So if you don't have these at Mythic Plus, don't worry. I just wanted to explain that he does give haste with his weapon at Mythic Plus. But the key to this was Rowan. Rowan's battery ability to just activate a skill, fill up everybody's skill bar around him. That gave me the timing window that I needed to get Coco's ulti off, get that damage reduction. So when that snowstorm hit, I was surviving. Marley would get frozen, Odie would get frozen, whoever was doing the most DPS would get frozen. But due to the damage reduction by Coco, I was not dying. That led to my success in this boss fight. I did use the star shard artifact for some weird reason this actually gave me the best results the awakening spell artifact just to heal just to kind of tank through that snowstorm phase is so so key and if you can't have your team surviving if the units are struggling to tank and heal through that phase and everyone's just kind of falling over and you're not getting to do any dps on the boss try this artifact guys it actually helped my team survive my damage was a little lower and i was trying to do as much damage as i could so the awakening spell is very good if you're having survivability issues and as well as if you just want to give up on healing you realize you can tank it your units aren't dying you're going to go in and try to dps down the boss you can use the blazing spell it's going to give you defense penetration it is going to just periodically shoot a fireball and extra damage equal to the targets lost HP will be added. So if that's something that you want to try, this is a way to also deal more damage on top. So I had a weird lucky run with the star shard spell. That's not the norm. I see more people use the fire spell and the heal spell in this one, but I just wanted to show you guys what exactly happened in my run. So starting the run, you guys will see Thorin will run up. You have Odie, Marley doing damage in the back. You'll see right there, Rowan's skill activates. This is going to bring everybody's skill up. And that is key because if you look down at Coco's skill on the bottom left of those portraits there, you'll see her bar. It's almost full. So if I resume the playthrough, Thorin will ult Coco ults. The snowstorm is not going yet. That damage reduction is now applying to this team. This is the key that helped my units survive. Anybody that got frozen was dying. My other team members couldn't break them out of the snow prison fast enough. Oko gets the ult off with Rowan's battery enhancement right there. So we'll see the snowstorm triggers. The damage reduction is up. Snowstopper throws the snowball. Nothing really happens because of the damage reduction. Rowan ultis again right out of the snowstorm. He had time to build up that skill. It's going to heal up everybody. It's going to give the damage reduction Coco skill an active chance again. All while Odie's doing the poison damage. Marley is trying to stack up her true damage as everybody is ultying. As you can see, damage reduction. The shield comes out. That bigger blue shield is from Coco's actually activated weapon. So that's larger than it should be. But the damage reduction, even without that, should be enough. It cascades into the final kind of phase that I could survive to because the boss starts doing more and more damage in endless mode. You can't break out the unit. It gets too hard. Coco by herself with just Odie in the back, it wasn't enough to break it out. But it does allow the damage, at least in endless, to be a little higher. You can see here that Marley and Odie were kind of the champs in damage. And once again, guys, if you go into this boss, it is just, it's a rough time. Focus on tanking and healing. Make sure you are using the units with the highest stats that you have that can tank heal and do a little bit of damage. That is the key to just getting up there into the reward bracket. I looked at guides in the past, like I said, I just looked at my box. I saw what was highly invested into, and I took that and applied it to these boss battles and just kind of brute forced it. My friend and I were like trying to go back and forth, try to figure out what we could do to get these boss battles down to place higher and the guides they helped us but they weren't applying to the units that we had pulled so we brute forced it with the units that were the highest invested into and it led to pretty solid results so thank you guys for stopping by 
Let me know what teams you guys are using in the Snow Stomper. Let me know, is this the most frustrating boss for you? Because for me, it makes me want to pull my hair out. I hate fighting this boss. Every time it's come up, I just get upset halfway through the runs because he just kills off my units way faster than I had hoped. And I'm very curious how you guys have kind of gone through this. So thank you for stopping by. Drop a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.